Welcome back one and all, my name is Eltimar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Divinity Original Sin 2. Where we left off last time, we ended up getting that uh, treasure chest, I showed you guys how to do it. I couldn't do the other one though, it just doesn't work, not the same way. I do know what we need to do to get to that spear that I was mentioning in the previous video though, so we're going to head back to this cave, it'll be relatively fast. And then once we have that, there's another quest we can actually finish up as well. So we'll get two done in this video at least. They're both relatively fast, so then we'll have to figure out what we want to do after that. But it's probably going to be something like go fight something because we are level three now. And we can actually do some combat, hopefully. Like those Crocolisks, we'll probably, go in, or probably end up going to kill them a little bit. Now we can talk to dogs too, by the way. And all manner of animals. But first up, let's go get ourselves a sweet spear. So, when we come into here, we're going to grab our main character. We need to talk to Modi. Whack! Back, evil ogre! Or I'll get you with my sword! I'm going to rear up in the most fearsome posture I can muster and roar like an ogre. I'll spare you this time, beast! But don't cross me again! Ever! <laughs> You're really fun! Hey, I'm going to hide somewhere in the cave, and you come find me! Kid has 105 hit points. Ready? Set. Oh. Now we have to wait for him to run. <laughs> you found me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me hide again. Ready. Set. Go. Go. He just cast invisibility upon himself. Ooh! Wow! You're really smart! I bet. You know what? I bet my best friend would really, really, really like you. Come on, I'll introduce you. Okay. I know how to spell introduce. It's I N T R O D U C E. That's true, it is. I mean, I kind of did. I am not opposed to manual labor if circumstances require. Good job, lizard. All right. So, a couple barrels with some sweet wood chips and some nothing. Uh, Tilda. Nothing. But there's a chest. You're back. And you brought but, but who is this? Wither, this is my new friend. He's really smart. You'll like him a lot. Please, small child. Leave me to my ruminations. <laughs> but he's really nice. And tall. Maybe he can even help you with that thing. Why? A grown friend. You brought an adult here. Good. Good gods. Can it be? It can. You! Tell me true. Stand you with the Source Hunters, or do you serve the tyrant Bracchus Rex? I'm going to tell him in neither camp and quickly bring him up to speed in the last thousand years of history. A thousand years? Gods, the walls of this pit have leached a whole millennium from me. I haven't seen a living soul in all that time. What a strange notion. Why are you trapped here? A wicked king, it was. Bracchus Rex by name. The Order of the Source Hunters discovered a great horror upon this prison isle, and I was sent to stop it. Yet, my failure was absolute. I am not fit to bear the insignia of the Source Hunters any longer. Please, good sir, you must free me. Prize this spear from my chest, where it has been stuck fast for the last thousand years. Seize the spear. End this degradation. I beg you. Okay. I've... Good, sir. You have set my body free. Free to crumble to dust at last. But my spirit... Blast! I remain trapped in this moldering skeleton, yeah? What binds you? A 
a spell most terrible. I have heard of such magic, but have never known anyone so foul as to employ it. Bracchus Rex, may maggots lace his entrails. After he interred me in this cell, he must have drawn my very soul away from me and stored it elsewhere in the fort. Thus, he has bound me entirely to the mundane realm. I see. But I know this place well. I could lead you to its likely location. In turn, you would find a path straight out of this fort. My freedom for yours. What say you? I say yes. Marvelous, my friend. Marvelous. You'll first have to get inside the fort itself. There's a secret switch on a statue of the Seven in the courtyard. Surely you know it. The switch will open a hatch, and you'll be led into the prison's main floor. I suspect that within Bracchus's phylactery room, you will find the container which ensnares my soul. He has likely disguised it well, but search there for another hidden switch. Okay. Bracchus would have made me a supplicant, a slave to these walls. With your help, I'll die. At last. How do you know where your soul is? I was fully briefed about this awful place before I came. My goal was to destroy the fiend who had been marshalling the world's most unwholesome weapons and magic into an army he intended to use against the realm. I never thought I would become one of his victims. And yet, here I am. Anything else you can tell me about the island? Fort Joy is a dangerous place, my friend. Dangerous indeed. Bracchus used this place to build an arsenal of terrible weaponry as yet unseen in our world. Here, he and his researchers crafted punishments and snares contrary to human dignity. Objects that could contain souls. Ones that could purge the very essence from sorcerers. My order would never have used such barbaric magic against our enemies. I'm going to take my leave. But thank you for your sweet spear. So that's our new spear. It's about double the damage of our current spear. Significantly better. Alright, so now we have a new quest as well, but we also have one we can finish up regarding a poor mother and her dead child. Alright, a mirror's in here. This is very good. Sahela is alright. I still protect her. She does not die here. She does not die here. Thank you. Glad to help. Do not forget what I ask of you. Sahela cannot stay here. She is too important, too rare. Our people must find her. What will you do now that you're reunited? I heal. We count on you still. To tell the elves who remain, the elves who roam, to bring them here. She is not lost here. Anyone can be lost, but not her. Why is she so important to you? She is very... special. She sees how we will survive. The Void Woken. The Dead Divine. She leads us back home. I'm gonna wish them luck and take my leave. All of luck to you. Do not forget what I give you. Take it to the elves who roam the mainland. They come here. They save her. They save all of us. I'll work on that. Alright, let's go break a mother's heart. Uh, we went a bit far. There we go. Himself think with all this racket. Day and night she hollers after that child. You hear that, Farah? You gotta cut that out. What's happened to you? I have already done this part. No, no, I can give. Man, this straw don't even begin to cover it. She and there ain't no man. Oh. Okay, let's try with her. Please, can you? <gasps> An elf! Stay away, cannibal! 
If I find out you've gone near my baby, I'll skin you alive. I'm gonna offer a ticket pounder to her flesh for lunch if she threatens you again. Away from me, savvy! I'm not she ignores you. And nope, let's not do that one. There's a way to do this quest, I think. As long as you have an elf. near my baby, I'll skin you alive. We aren't cannibals in the way she thinks. I don't care. I don't, Irma. Hmm, okay. Mummy's right. Please, I'm sorry, but you must leave. My baby's terrified of lizards. She may be hiding from you even now. Irma! Irma, darling, are you here? Please, good day. Irma. Irma, Gotta find the one that lets oh, me tell her that she's dead. Please, did you find Irma? She still hasn't returned. There we go. Where could she be, my dear girl? Irma passed away some time ago in a void walking attack. You've been talking to that snake, Jeff, haven't you? I don't know where he gets these obscene lies. It's sick, totally sick, to torture a mother so. You stay away from that man, do you hear me? Irma isn't. What Jess says is a lie. I think we completed the quest. Let's just make sure though. Where is it? Every mother's... Yeah, Nightmare's closed, so we're done that one. We have the Geist to do, we have the Arena to do, we have the Soul Jar now, we have the Tribe of Sahel or Sahila. Imprisoned Elf to do. Signs of Resistance. And the Voices. And the Escape, we haven't done any of those yet. Okay. Should we do the Geist? Let's try and do the Geist. We at least have some better weapons now. We sh uh, might be able to do it. It's going to be an interesting fight one way or the other, but we'll give it a shot. Yellow flags, by the way, are side quest zones. Whereas the red quests, or the red flags are your primary quests. We're gonna prepare this battlefield a tiny bit. Everybody needs to get here though. She's a tree now, too. Okay. A little bit further away, a little bit closer. Alright. The creature heaves through lips. We've already done this thing before. Query. Where grows Fiend is dangerous. Now. Oh, didn't you hear me? Where grows the yarrow? Dire. <laughs> That is fight time. Don't hit a rogue. Okay. First up. Let's do that. And we'll do that. Okie dokie, so let's go hit him. Oh, we can hit him from here, that's awesome. Takes three action points to do an all in. Only takes one to encourage, though. I need to get over to there. I guess I'll take a little bit of poison damage.
And she can move a little bit, but she is going to get attack of opportunity if she does that, so that'll be it for her. Whirlwind. That hurts. And that knockdown sucks. Alright. Let's do that, and then we'll do this. And that's going to be it for his turn. He still has so much armor left. Although his magic armor is down. His armor is now officially down. Oh god, they're going to die. Nope, maybe not. Nice. It's nice of him to move like that. I'm ready. Okay. And that'll be it for him. Knocked down, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Am I poisoned? Yes, so I need to heal. Like right now. But I don't have any healing, so... He's crippled. We won! <laughs> we'll rest up, grab some loot from his body, so Migo's ring and Migo's breastplate. Both of them are amazing, but that armor in particular is really good. Let's just throw it on our main fighter. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then he's gonna get some sweet leather armor. It's not great leather armor, but it'll do. He can also have the ring for some extra magic resistance and restoration. Actually, you know what? Fane should have this for restoration, because he can heal people from a distance. Alright, now there's a whole oh we have people to talk to. Dead man, creature, thing lies in a heap on the beach. Madness seems to have quite taken it. There's nothing for us to do but to put it down. Whatever it was, it was too dangerous to be allowed to live. It had to die. You can't leave something like that alive. His obsession with Yarrow suggests he wasn't entirely mad. Perhaps something of his old personality remained. I don't think it did. Let's take the milk, we already got that. Bunch of gold. Oh, some intestines, lovely. An arm. That'll be something our elf could eat. Probably. So there we go. See what a difference like one level makes? We wouldn't have stood a chance one level ago. A level later? No problem. Wiped him off the face of the earth. Uh, now we need to go talk to... Oh, what was her name? The rainbow chest. That's a hideout. That's an entrance to the underground. Which we haven't gone into yet. We need to talk to Yarrow. I think it's Magister Yarrow. If I recall correctly. That's Nusi. Griff. Remember the person who gave us the quest? She was like in a panic about it. Gotta find her again. Who's Waltz? Are you a shopkeeper? Hey, fresh 
What you heard about a crate of stolen supplies. And don't you lie to me now. I already found it and delivered it back to him. Well, ain't he just a pretty piece? Griff might have told me. Pacing this place like a damn fool searching for what's already found. Why, well, have a right mind to... Her thoughts trail off to muttering. She waves you away. Do you have any loot? No, you don't. What is this? Garbage. By the way, this is one of those games where you can actually win the game by just killing everyone. Is it Mira? Guards, guards, keep it. Stay back. Stay back. Oh, right, it's that like crazy woman. Ship here? Yes, Magister Yarrow. That's who we need to talk to. I told him at noon exactly, didn't I? Oh, our group's all split Don't up. That's good though. Me again, unless you've seen me go. I seen a madman who attacked me on the beach. He's you down there. Seen him? Tell me, where was he? I met him on the beach, but he had transformed into something not altogether human. He attacked you and died as a result. And you're... you're very sure it was him? I'm certain. How... how do you know? The creature you met matches her description. Creature? I'm not looking for a cre... Ah, oh, we have to give her the Don't ring and then kill her. Again, unless you've seen me go You have seen him? Tell me, and you're... The ring sits heavily in her hand. How about the experience? Her fingertips droop under its weight. And it seems about to fall to the ground when she grasps it tightly and holds it to her breast. He was... he was my father. I'm sorry for your loss. This can't be. You said he was upon the beach, yes? I need to have a look myself. This... this simply can't be. She stands stock still with her eyes closed for a moment, then turns away without another word. Okay, this is going to be one of the few evil things in the game we do, but this is something we... It's important. That ring is very important. And the experience we get is also very important. Can't talk now. I like how she's got like bare legs. Uh, fairly... Nice leather armor and then a bucket head. In fact, Vane is the only member of the group who doesn't have a bucket head yet. But he's got a mask thing on. I'm afraid we're gonna have to kill you. Although you have a lot of magic armor. What did they do to him? What did they do to him? Leave me be! I'm really sorry about this. I missed my first attack. That was terrible. Ow. Not poor Fane. I wish I had that ring back now. Uh, let's move up here. Slow her down a little bit. There's no point in um, using any of our knockdown attacks because she has armor for days. Oh, really? Okay. How far can I move on zero AP? A bit, actually. Okay. You're really, really far away from the fight. Let's just move you up here. Uh, it's not light everyone on fire. Ow. Knock down Fane. Poor Fane. Damn it, stop hitting my poor... Undead. Although her armor's down now, so...
Zero AP to get back to there. Nice. We're executing a magister on the beach. That does no damage to her, unfortunately. No, Crippling Strike's gonna kill my own group members. Wait, which one's Crippling Strike? It's Battering Ram. That's the right one. Target's blocked. Oh. Fine, just stab her. Eight hundred experience for killing her, though, and the ring, of course, and of course we get a magister's key, which is nice as well. But more, most importantly, is that ring. And now she's dead. Oh, right, we got this Sahil or Sahila's crest, and it is a pretty nice amulet for our wizard, who needs intelligence, because all of his attacks are intelligence-based. Except we can't wear amulets because of our collars, which I think we're going to get off pretty quick, hopefully. I have crappy mittens or mage's gloves. We'll give the mage's gloves to our mage. He could use a little more armor, apparently, since he got pooped on a little bit during that fight. Now where'd that ring go? Who picked that up? Oh, it's Sabeel. Okay. Give it back to Fane. Now the only thing is, Fane can't heal himself. If Fane heals himself, it goes like this. It causes him a bunch of damage. Over a bunch of turns, so he might actually die. Let's just, uh... Rest. Can't rest again for a bit, but you know what, good enough. Now let's link up our group, because we're ready to roll again. So there we go. We did a bunch of stuff, quest stuff. What's this? I found something. I need to dig here. And we have another thing to go Even into. The most noble among us must occasionally dirty their claws. Five hundred experience to the underground tunnel. There's a fire slug down there. And something over here. Let's leave the slug alone for a moment. What's an Amadouver? I don't know what that is. I see. I still don't really know what it is. I guess we can go talk to the slug. It appears to be non-violent for the time being. Did you hear that? Are you there? Foot slug! You're trespassing in the princess's royal court! Ask who the princess is. You've never heard of her royal highness, Princess Xenthia of the Firelands? No. To be forgotten? Truly the cruelest part of that dog Bracus Rex's punishment Every creature in the world should know and love the princess. You would be wise to leave here. My princess is already in a foul mood. To have an uninvited guest show such ignorance would only inflame her further. I only need to escape the island. I have to press on ahead. You've been warned. Few who displease her royal highness live to make amends. Why is the princess in such a foul mood? She's fed up of being trapped in this cavern, of course. She wants the curse of Bracchus to be removed, so that she can find a prince who's worthy of her hand in marriage. Until she is free of the tyranny of Bracchus, her mood will only darken, I fear. Her own courtiers can do little to cheer her. And outsiders? Well, outsiders rarely survive her wrath. The Divine Order controls this place now. Whoever this Bracchus is, he must be long gone by now. Truly? Perhaps the tyrant has fallen, and my princess might be free. Be sure to tell her. 
It'll raise her spirits no end. Okay. Nobody step in the fire, please. If I were, oh, there's a, another slug. Royal fire slug, that must be her. Can I just go past her? Do I really need you to? There. Oh. Boy, did Brackus send you? Is he ready to apologize? I've heard of your plight, but never fear. Brackus Rex has long been vanquished. He's gone. Positively sure. That means. That means I'm free. I can take suitors. Find myself a real prince. Not like that scoundrel Brackus. Exactly. I've lost too much time on that waste of Brackus as it is. Take this proclamation and see that all hear of it. Princess Xenthia of the Firelands is free once more. Okay. Go now. I expect the most eligible kings and suitors to be petitioning for my hand in marriage as soon as possible. Okay, bye. Fire slugs are scary. And the, lo the least amount of time we can deal with them, the better. I'm going to grab whatever that is. It's worth 70 gold. Copper, whatever. And there's a way out over here. Or something. I see. Uh, who are you? Who are you? you uh, get out of here! Uh, where are the guards? Guards, help! Be silent or I'll silence you. All right. I... I just... They do terrible things here. If they think for a second I'm trying to escape again, they'll do to me what they did to him. What have you seen? Not seen. Heard. There's a man over there. They tortured him, questioned him, seekers, something about God woken. He didn't know anything, but they didn't care. I heard his screams. I heard something eating him from the inside. No, no, no. It can't happen to me. It can't. It can't. It can't. It can't. You can't stay here, it isn't safe. Outside the bones are gnashing. In here the magisters are... are cutting, slicing, grinding, smashing. What to do? Uh, what to do? I'm going to leave for joy or die trying. Poor thing. Poor fool. I hope it's an easy death then. Decapitation. Yes, I do wish that for you. No, take care. Take care. You are clearly insane. We're going to end the video here, though. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.